Hey everybody, welcome to the 10th video in my series on how to use SynthEdit. Today I'd like to talk about routing signals. So far we've created a little synth that is what I would call hardwired. The audio goes from start to finish, the signal path is specifically defined. For example, the signal from the LFO goes into the level adjust module, which then goes directly to the pitch plug on the oscillator module. In an earlier video, I said you could connect this LFO to different parameters, not just the pitch plug. We could hardwire it like we have in the past videos, or we could add a switch. A switch routes the signal to different areas, depending on where we want it to go. First, go ahead and disconnect the patch cord between the level adjust and the oscillator's pitch. Right click, insert, go to flow control, and select switch, one to many. Here we have the switch. It takes a signal in and routes it out to any number of outputs. You can select where it routes to by hooking up a list entry up to this choice box. Rename it to LFO route. Okay, now connect the spare output on the switch to a parameter that you'd like to modulate. I'll hook it back up to the oscillator's pitch. When I do that, you can see that the choice has been added to the list entry box. I'll connect the next spare output plug to the Moog filter's pitch, and the next spare out to the overall level on the ADSR2. Right-click the switch and select Properties. Here we have each of the routes that we just hooked up and we can rename them. So I'll change this one to oscillator pitch. The next one to filter pitch. I'll change overall level to volume. So there you have it. If I play some notes, you can hear the modulation. By changing the selection in the LFO route box, you can route the signal to affect the filter's pitch or the volume. Controlling the signal flow is a very important part of creating a VST, and with the switch you can easily do so. Thanks for watching. Please rate and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.